quite interesting. I've just gone through the first two stories that make up today's episode and it saddens me. Why? Because I don't understand why people decide to get married and in the long run comes the D word, divorce. I'm talking about Chloe and Lamar, Melanie and Antonio Banderas. Chloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom tied the knot in September 2009 after dating for just one month. The Odom family was happy for a few years until the relationship started getting concerns. Chloe then filed for divorce in December 2013 but sat on it. TMZ reported that both of them waffled on the divorce and at times they talked resolution. Funny thing is that Chloe has clearly moved on and she's dating NBA superstar James Herden. As for Lamar, it seems that he isn't quite ready for divorce, poor soul. Sources say that Chloe and Lamar finally filed the signed divorce papers last week and all that is left is a judge's signature for them to be officially single within days. In other news, Melanie Griffith and Antonio Banderas divorced a done deal. Antonio Banderas, the famous Spanish actor who appeared in Hollywood movies such as Desperado, The Mask of Zorro, Spy Kids, Oya, oh yeah, and also portrayed the voice of Puss in Boots in Shrek sequels, takes the last step to end his marriage with Melanie. After 18 years of marriage, Melanie and Antonio finally decide to become officially single. Sources say that Melanie was asking for full custody of their daughter Stella and also wanted spousal support. After Stella turning 18 years last year, Melanie and Antonio's custody issue resolved. This is Melanie's fourth divorce and Antonio's second. Wow, I have no words. Mm. Lil Wayne has been quiet of late, but still manages to make the headlines. The young money boss gets booted off the plane for smoking pots. Wow, that was a smart, yeah? Lil Wayne denies that he was smoking on the plane, but Wayne was kicked off the private jet a few minutes after takeoff. Sources say that the rapper later put joined immediately after wheels up. Initially, Lil Wayne had asked the pilot if he could smoke, and clearly we could guess the answer that the pilot gave him. The captain turned the plane around 70 minutes after takeoff and landed it where it came from, sending Wayne out of the door. Still, at the airport, it looked like Lil Wayne had brought his own drinks because TMZ got a picture of him in which he was holding a double cup which contained a pink purple color liquid. Wayne has also had problems with sipping his rap on private jets in the past. He also suffered some pretty terrific seizures from the codeine back in 2013. And if you believe that you are well dressed this week, Take a picture and tag me on my Instagram at Anna Polinari and get a chance to be featured in our next episode of See Gossip next week. Now you have it, gossip for the week and a few fashion tips. I'm Anna Polinari, goodbye.